Did you know that being stuck indoors all day and having a vitamin D deficiency could actually be causing your hair loss? In this video, we're going to look at the link between vitamin D and hair loss and how you can go and combat it, helping you regrow your healthy hair. So guys, before we get into the video on vitamin D, if you are worried about your own hair loss, what you can do is you can scroll down and click the link in the description and our hair guard specialist is going to give you an analysis of your hair. All you've got to do is click the link in the description and then upload a hair selfie. So what you're going to learn about today in this video is we're going to have a brief introduction to what vitamin D is. We're going to look at the impact of vitamin D deficiency on the body. We're going to look at the link between vitamin D and hair loss. Then we're going to talk about how you can increase vitamin D levels before coming up with a brief conclusion. So first, let's have a look at what vitamin D is. Vitamin D is a group of fat soluble vitamins that plays a role in many biological processes. Perhaps its greatest role is that which increases intestinal absorption of other nutrients such as calcium, magnesium and phosphate. But this vitamin also has other roles including modulation of cell growth, regulation of neuromuscular and immune function, and reduction of inflammation. Interestingly, vitamin D is the only nutrient that your body can synthesize as a result of sunlight exposure. And guys, just before we go on, if you see that bracket and then a number, that means that we're citing some kind of academic resource, some literature, some journal. So if you do want to further your knowledge, you can simply have a look down in the description and then we'll list all those for you. So let's have a look at the impact of vitamin D deficiency on the body. The daily recommended dietary allowance for vitamin D varies by gender, age and condition. When levels of vitamin D drop these values, the body may begin to experience a deficiency and symptoms may begin to develop. Depending on the extent of the deficiency, there can be a very variety of mild to severe symptoms, including fatigue, general aches and pains, overall weakness, high blood pressure, depression, and excessive perspiration. Prolonged deficiency can even lead to osteopenia and osteoporosis, but that is not all. There are an array of other illnesses and conditions which have been linked either indirectly or directly with vitamin D deficiency, including Alzheimer's disease, prostate cancer, erectile dysfunction, <laughs> schizophrenia, and cardiac conditions. So who is at the greatest risk of vitamin D deficiency? This deficiency is one of the most common in the world with more than 1 billion people affected. However, there are populations which are at greater risk of developing its deficiencies than others. Older adults and breastfed infants are the two populations with the highest risk factors. Other at risk populations include people with dark skin, people with limited sun exposure, those with inflammatory bowel disease, and people who are obese or who have undergone gastric bypass surgery. So you might be wondering, what is the link between vitamin D and hair loss? The implications of a vitamin D deficiency can be severe, but how do you know that such a deficiency may also play a role in hair loss? Vitamin D plays an important role in the differentiation and prol proliferation of keratinocytes. Researchers from the University of Texas and MD Anderson Cancer Center sought to further understand the role of vitamin D in the process of anagen initiation as it relates to hair growth. Now while the authors determined that the vitamin does play a significant role in the process of hair cycling, they suggest that more research is required on the potential regulation of vitamin D to successfully treat hair disorders. So how does this then contribute to hair growth? As mentioned, vitamin D is known to contribute to the proliferation of keratinocytes. One way in which it is known to do so is by its induction of keratinocyte growth factor. Earlier studies available from the US National Library of Medicine determined that the use of a keratinocyte growth factor promoted the survival of the hair follicle, which further supports the role of vitamin D in hair growth. Another role vitamin D may play in hair loss is discussed in research from the Turkish Journal of Medical Science. 
and that measures the effect of heredity and vitamin D receptor deficiency on an individual's hair growth. This research determines that maintaining sufficient vitamin D levels in the blood reduces the likelihood of experiencing the effects on telogen effluvium. The study found that individuals that qualified for a diagnosis of telogen effluvium also showed a statistically significant difference in low levels of vitamin D in the blood. This condition is considered to be a period of hair loss following a triggering event. However, there is a potential for chronic telogen effluvium to occur. The resulting condition includes thinning hair, brittle and unhealthy hair, as well as hair that is easily dislodged from the scalp. Vitamin D plays a significant role in supporting the physical processes related to hair growth, and it's more directly involved through the development of keratinocytes. If a body is dealing with a vitamin D deficiency, any one of these important processes might be interrupted and lead to issues of thinning and hair loss. So, now we're going to look at how you can increase vitamin D in your own body. The National Institutes of Health recommends ensuring healthy levels of vitamin D through the combination of diet, exposure to sunlight, and, if necessary, supplementation. The body is able to absorb vitamin D through the skin that is exposed to sunlight or artificial sources of ultraviolet light. There are a variety of factors that impact the amount of vitamin D that can be obtained through UVB exposure, including the time of day, the time of year, the length of day, the angle of the sun, cloud cover, smog stroke pollution, skin melanin content, and the use of sunscreen. sunscreen. While the absorption of vitamin D does occur with UVB exposure, the dangers of UVB exposure should be taken into consideration. This is why it's also a good idea to consider adding more foods high in vitamin D into your diet. So, looking at foods that are high in vitamin D, uh, some foods that are particularly high in vitamin D include cod liver oil, uh, portobello mushrooms, fatty fish, fish roe, tofu, egg yolk, and almond milk. And you can easily add these foods into your diet, and this will reduce your need for direct sun exposure, which comes with its own risks and supplementation. However, if you are thinking of using vitamin D supplements, it's best to focus on increasing your dietary intake of vitamin D first, uh, but sometimes that can be difficult to hit your daily recommended value. In this case, you may want to consider a supplement. Uh, this may also be particularly helpful during the winter months or for those populations listed before who are at the risk of an increase in deficiency. However, prior to adding a vitamin D supplement to your routine, you should speak with your physician. Now there is enough available evidence to suggest that the vitamin D deficiency can have a significant negative impact on the body and that includes hair thinning and hair loss. And while it's not likely that a deficiency in this nutrient is the only reason for your hair loss, it may be a significant contributing factor. Maintaining a healthy diet rich in vitamin D and getting a safe amount of sunlight will help ensure optimal levels, but some people may require the use of available vitamin D supplements. If you are experiencing hair loss, it may be best to consult with a medical professional about testing for and potentially managing a nutrient deficiency. All that being said, just remember that there is no magical cure for hair loss. Vitamin D is just a small piece in the puzzle that may impact hair growth in a small way. The most effective hair care routine will involve a multi-pronged approach with various dietary changes, supplementation, topical solutions, micro needling and even scalp massage.